9th century, the first instance or the first recorded instance of zero uh, was found. It was actually found by a gardener keeping track of the number of flowers that his garden would produce and he used the number 50 as we would recognise it, five, zero. Uh, after that point they started to experiment with zero. What could it do? The, uh, if you add zero it makes no difference. If you times by zero you get zero. Dividing by zero that caused them some problems, as it still does today. So there was a, a, an Indian called Brahma Gupta who invented the idea of nothing, not being nothing, but existing as an abstract quantity in the mathematics. Well, then it goes to North Africa, and there's a guy called Al Khwazimi, and he writes a book about the art of Hindu mathematics, a reckoning by Hindu mathematics. And that spreads through North Africa to Spain and so forth, and it becomes, they think, Arabic numbers. So you have all the numbers plus zero. That was fine until 1200 when Leonardo of Pisa, also known as Fibonacci, translates this book. It's a wonderful idea, but this is in the period of the Crusades. So people think these are Arabic numbers, not Hindu numbers, because it's come from North Africa. So the Catholic Church objects to this because uh, there are crusades going on and this is the work of the enemy. So in Florence, for example, they banned the use of this Arabic number zero and it was thought to be the work of the devil. The discovery of zero was the most important advance in mathematics of all because it made mathematics capable of being understood by everybody. Everybody could do this mathematics. The Babylonians, the Greeks, they had the idea of a space. So there was a difference between 26, 2 and 6 and 206, 206, they had a space there. They didn't use the symbol zero, but they had a space. It was like a, more like a punctuation mark. So the Babylonians would understand the difference between 26 and 206, but instead of using the, the symbol for zero, they would just have a, a space. However, if they wanted to write 260, 260 was written like this, and to us, that looks like 26. To them, and in context, that would make sense. But they didn't have this idea of zero by itself. In this sense, the mathematical sense, the number zero does not mean nothing. It means a quantity which you can manipulate in the mathematics. And so it's better to call it zero rather than nothing. Nothing is when you're counting. There's nothing there. Zero is the abstract mathematical quantity.